working on ideas that they have as far as moving people out to space. Well, when you say moving people, make sure we realize, as the our fellow Atumre has explained, they don't mean move you as in you people. They're talking about the elite of their society. Because they know that Odea or Tiamat or Teta or Earth or B as you refer to it, they know this planet is going through or coming into its next planetary alignment. They understand the day and time that you're living in. Now, this same thing took place on Risk, the planet of our descendants who descended down here to us. However, in their situation, they were in power and were able to leave. In our situation, we're not in power. Overstand? These people or these NASA and them who are launching into space, the first problem is they really can't escape. Their time is up. Overstood? But it's whether or not they get an extension. That's what they're shooting for. It's up to you and I to make sure we listen to the Pharaoh that's been sent for us so that we will be deemed worthy to be raised up by our descendants, by our ancestors, and be taught. With all these space shuttles going up every day, simple effects, look at the weather. Since when have you known four or five hurricanes to hit at one time? Since when have you known four or five tornadoes? A new disease every day? Since when? Children going to school and just shooting up the whole lunchroom. And they're putting the gun down and smiling, you know, walking, hey. That's not normal. Something is wrong. One of the effects is lunaticism. There's more lunatics going around today. They're playing with the planets. They, a few years ago, about three years ago, they launched a missile towards Jupiter to turn it into another sun. These are things that are taking place. Look at the deformities, that are, look at the children. What type of birth defects? Things that didn't happen before. There's some of us sitting, well, there's some of you sitting here today that are old enough to remember a time when these things weren't normal. A lot of us young folk, this is normal to us. We're like, well, this is the way it's been as long as I can remember. Overstood? That's the day and time where the effects, just look around you and you'll see it. Overstood? Any other questions? Yeah. Um, where does the word Pharaoh come from? Can you ask it again, please? Um, uh, where did the word Pharaoh come from? Okay, the word Pharaoh means lighthouse. This is what the Greeks refer to as. They say, they said Pharaoh. Understand? A Pharaoh meant lighthouse. And it's one of the words that we use to refer to our rulers in ancient Tabari as in this Tabari today. As our ruler, a pharaoh, one who has insight, one who carries the light, or the torchbearer, as they refer to it in Freemason, to guide us on this path, as you refer to it, in and beyond the stars. Any other questions? Again, this is the opportunity to get these questions answered, so please don't be afraid, or don't feel nervous, or anything of that nature. I got somewhat, it may sound stupid, but I had this vision that uh, we were able to um, produce a, like an electromagnetic field around our bodies. And I'd like to ask the question, how powerful are our visions? How powerful are your visions? Yeah. Your visions are as powerful as this. As a man thinketh, so is he. Anything you can imagine is possible. Whether or not we're disciplined enough to manifest those things, now that's the next question. Overstood? Sometimes you have dreams where you say you're flying around. That is because the real you is able to do those things. But here you're now out of tune with your environment, with your culture, with the, your diet. Everything's out of whack, so you're no longer able to do those things at this time. Okay? Overstood. Miriam. Oh. Can you explain the um, the Armageddon? Um, is that a is that a mental war or a physical war? It's the war of Armageddon. Armageddon. Wait a minute. And and why does it say in the um, breaking of the stars said that Armageddon would 
it continues thing until way into the year 6,000 and something. Okay. You break up the spell? Did you read that? Okay, so now let's do the first part of the question. Okay. Now, Armageddon or Hard Armageddon, this was making, it's so funny how they took all the stories as far as the Bible from Egyptian or Tamaraian culture. Because you see, when Thutmose the first went and did battle against the Hittites under their leader, Apat, also known as Papa, this took place in Palestine in the plains of Megiddo. They borrowed all these stories and gave it to you today in the Bible and have you waiting around for some big old battle called Armageddon that's supposed to take place. Now, religious people will say that Armageddon is the battle of the world war, the final conflict between good and evil. Now, we know the conflict of good and evil starts with each individual going inside and addressing that demon or that devil inside. See, they got us so focused outside of ourselves that we're missing the picture. Now, as far as the world, the war, you already see it happening. Look what's going on in Bosnia. Look what's going on over in Sudan. Look what's going on in Ethiopia. Look what's going on right here in America. They're blowing up their own buildings, the Oklahoma City building. They're running inside the White House. So all these things are taking place. But there was something that our Supreme Grand Master, Nietzsche Affinity Atom Ray, told us to do. He said, move out of their way. Because when wolves have no one to attack, what do they do? They turn on each other. So we don't have to step out into their problem and try to figure out how to, we just need to step away as, we, as we've done and are doing and create our own society where we can raise our children in peace, love, and harmony. Overstood? That's the day and time we're in. Their Armageddon is taking place. Now as far as it being a mental war, yeah, we do go out. That's what this doctrine is all about. Because as it was when the ancients, when they had to do battle against one called Zuen, it was a mental war of information. You have those who are trying to keep people under the spell of religion, to control people by using religion and manipulating them. And then you have those under the sacred one, Nietzsche, Apiriti, Atumre, that are going out, or are supposed to be going out, to break this spell of ignorance and get people to stop ignoring the facts. Overstood? Okay, now the second part of your question. Okay, I have read in Breaking Up the Spell that Armageddon is, will be a continuous war waiting to uh, pass 6,000, the year 6,000. Okay, when they say 6,000, that was talking about, if you're coming from Canaan, going up to the year 2000, and it says it will go past his 6,000 years, because if you go back and read Leviathan Book 1, Part 1, uh, Nietzsche Affinity, Atom Ray, explains in there how it will take you all the way up to the year 2029 that you see the making of a third world war. It's happening right before our eyes. And now you have the United Nations and they're talking about going and bombing uh, Bosnia now. Overstood? So this, this is it's in the making. You're living it. Go back and read the Leviathan book, part one and two. And in there, he literally gives us a chart of when in and around the time it's supposed to kick off. And you're living in that year, 1998, going into 1999. So between that, the computer shut down, New diseases, the, the plant is in a bad way right now. Okay, does that answer your question? Can you explain about the asteroids and, uh, and uh, why like so many of them hit the earth uh, so many times a year and also if we're in danger of like one coming from what well, they're trying to predict in the movies and all this kind of stuff. Okay, to answer the first part of your question, why so many asteroids hit this planet? Remember, this planet has a gravitational pull, as do all other planets have a certain amount of a gravitational pull, pulling things towards its center. So you have uh, n a natural phenomena as far as space is concerned, asteroids and comets, things that are moving, and some of them get caught within Earth's gravitational pull. You can study any astronomy book, and it'll explain this, and they pull it in. Now, also take into mind, you have a uh, large meteorite that's coming here November. How long is that away, everybody? Say it again? One month. And then they're talking about another one supposed to hit the planet even larger in February. Oh, where is it? May. So you see, oh, some, I think it's March. Okay, that's supposed to take place. So this, we're in a bad way. Now, what are we going to do about it? We can't go out there and stop a comet. That's for sure. Well, I can't. I mean, somebody. There's always someone in the crowd who thinks they can. 
I had to stop it. Just put me out there. However, the reality is this is why we gather. This is why people are told to join the ancient mystic order of Malakazadah. So you can be taught how if in the case of an emergency, when things get, if they get out of hand to that point where this planet may destroy itself or be destroyed,